Sentinel-3 Homeworld. Is it worth a buy? Let's read. The biggest installment of the award-winning Sentinel sci-fi tower defense series now on PC. Never heard of it. Take the fight to the alien homeworld and unleash a massive arsenal of weaponry. Get up close and personal on the battlefield in your power armor and execute devastating attacks and support your defenses. Guys, it's not very often that uh, a tower defense game comes along that I miss. And this one I have missed. It came out on the 26th of November 2010. And... Uh, I've never even heard of it. Apparently it has been on Android and tablets and phones and the iPad and things like that. Um, but according to the, the log here that it's actually been released on the PC now for for four years, nearly, well three years, just gone. Um, and I've missed it and it's one of the best tower defence games I've ever played. It absolutely is. It was gifted to me by Alufos, uh, who knows I like tower defence games. Um, it's one of my favourite genres, um, but saying that, there are some horrific tower defence games out there. They're really awful. I own quite a few of them. I pretty much own all of the, the latest tower defence games, and this one is on par with Defence Grid. And that's saying something, because Defence Grid is light years ahead of anything else that I've played on that genre. Um, it's not quite as good as Defence Grid, but it's nigh on. It, it, it really is close. Um, the defense grid just looks a lot better than this. The graphics on this aren't that good and they are pretty shit. It looks like a, a cheap game, but don't let that put you off because the depth in the gameplay is phenomenal. You have uh, harvesters, uh, repair drones, you've got yourself in power armor running around the battlefield. Well, you're not running around the battlefield, you jump from place to place to help boost your defenses and fight off the aliens and repair things. In this game, you have gates to defend. It's just. The, the gates. Once all the gates is destroyed, it's game over essentially. Um, and the gates give you resources, give you money. And if you lose a gate, you lose the resource associated with that gate. Uh, the gates themselves have two little machine guns on, which you know don't really do much. Uh, your commander, that's the guy in the power armor, he can buy a jump ability, which as he levels up, because he levels up and gets all kinds of different abilities: jet packing, um, repair sniper turrets and all sorts of stuff but he can jump from one gate to another and when he's at a particular gate any turrets in that area get a boost to the damage and stats so if you've got a vulnerable gate keep your commander there also when you buy the repair um, ability for him he'll repair the gate as long as he's not in combat the rest of the game is spent bolstering up uh, defenses around the gates uh, on the roads with the usual mix of slow down towers, machine gun towers, rocket towers, lasers and all the rest of it. I don't want to go into too much details, I'm not showing you how to play it, but you've got um, powers from your spaceship that you can fire and cause area of effect damage, you've got rockets that you can fire from your mothership and you've got rocket turrets on the ground as well. There's all different types of aliens from big aliens, small aliens, flying aliens, fast aliens, slow aliens. Each alien that you kill uh, gives you resources um, you can deploy for hundred and fifty dollars a little drone and either have him repair or harvest for you it depends on how you want to play it but you've got to adjust your strategy to the different types of aliens again with like all tower defenses you earn money now this is straight from defense grid because you earn money but you also earn interest on your money so it pays you not to spend it all uh, and keep a little bit back and then after each level and some of these I'm, I'm just about halfway through and they're like 50 levels 50 waves per level uh, which is just insane and then you buy um, new weapons you buy they're very expensive as well but in between uh, maps you buy and equip new weapons you can respec as well if you've got the money to do so you can also go back and do earlier levels with your more advanced weaponry to farm credits which i love to be able to do that it also has an endless mode as well which i haven't tried yet but i have read about it and it sounds great and you unlock the endless maps as you go through i've, I've unlocked about four endless maps i think or three um, this game in a nutshell is going to give me hours and hours and hours of pleasure it's a fabulous game and it is only four pounds 99 you can't lose with this it's absolutely definitely worth a buy